I'm very happy to welcome you, Barbara Sarasola Day, a very beautiful name from uh, Argentina. And you brought a film to the Berlinale called De Sora. De Sora. De Sora. De Sora. De Sora. De Sora in, in Spanish. And it basically de depicts a, a couple that lives uh, in the countryside. They, they, they live on a tobacco farm. Uh, tobacco, uh, tobacco, uh, tobacco Yeah, tobacco state. Tobacco state. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, the cousin um, appears. The cousin of the woman appears and um, brings this uh, relationship of this couple a little bit, brings a little bit of trouble into this relationship. And all of a sudden, this triangle relationship kind of starts. First of all, I would like to know how you were inspired for the story and what, you know, what brought you into this kind of triangle situation. Um, well, the, in, in first place, I always felt very attracted by, by the. Um, by the men universe, you know, the masculine universe. Mm -hmm. um, I like how, 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 how do you understand masculine universe? The, the men. How men work. How men, men work, exactly, the mm -hmm. way they... Males. You know, males, yeah. Males. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, the... the, the um, the rituals, the, the practices, and um, also the the, um, the body, the um, the way of the the, the the masculine or the male erotism. Mm -hmm. uh, so in a way, um, the first idea was um, the limits of of of, um, of a friendship. No, when, mm -hmm. when you pass the, 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 the limits in, mm -hmm. in, you know, in, in the, um, with the body. Mm -hmm. You mean like the when, the, when, the, when the, f the, the body in the friend relationship or the body exactly. in the Exactly. Okay. And, and when you pass the line. Pass that line. Okay. And okay. when you pass the line. Okay. I was interested about okay. that. And also attraction and desire. <laughs> In reality, a mí no me perdona. No me recuerdo de vos, es diferente. Y bueno, pasaron varios años, ¿no? Te quedan bien. Eres Joaquín, el primo de la señora Elena. Mucho gusto, Joaquín. Gregorio. Hasta donde te llega la vista, hasta ahí es. Todo esto es de la familia. Dale. Hoy es el último día. Cuando vuelva. Estabas esperando. Cagate. Salud. So let's start with with a couple first. Um, okay. Helena and Ernesto. That's that's their names. Yeah. How would you describe them? What kind of couple are they? They've been married for a long time. Probably you know that they were in love and very enthusiastic at the very beginning, and um, um, they've been together for a long time. And um, it's one of those couples that um, suddenly decided mm -hmm. not to update the relationship, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know? Not to uh, work on it or not to exactly, work on it. Exactly, when, yeah. when... Spice when, into yeah. it. Yeah. 
when they uh, when when how you say it in English inertia 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 like you mean when like you like when 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 um Or you just follow the movement, you know? It's oh, you mean like monotonous? And yeah. it's not, there's no, okay, no rhythm, and it, it becomes very... Yeah, and, and they've been obsessed trying to, to have a, a child. Mm -hmm. And um, first it, it, it was something, you know, that they... It, 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 it was um, because they, they really had the desire to, to, be, to be parents but um, it became an obsession. Mm -hmm. So now, it, it, and the moment in which the, the film starts is that they feel they must um, be parents and have a child and with all that pressure. Yeah, how, how would you describe the, the sexuality they live? And um, or do they even have a sexuality? Because it's also problematic, you know. I remember uh, the scene where she's really, you know, getting where she, she wants to have sex, she has desires, but then in this moment she can't really satisfy her, and there, it doesn't. There's no timing for for their sexuality or something, you know. So how is that a conflict, or in how far is that a conflict? Yeah, it's, it's a conflict. It's a conflict. Um, for me, um, well, in, in the film there are lots of um, sex scenes. Exactly. There are a lot. But I, I wanted, um, I wanted to tell you, you know through sex and o other kind of things because for me sex uh, it, it's a it's a way we express ourselves. Mm -hmm. It should be a beautiful way though, you know. It should be very beautiful. Yeah, it can be beautiful, but also it, it, it can have you know other the things vibe, because we, we are so exposed. Yeah. yeah. No, um, in sex we are completely exposed. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It, it's difficult to lie, or you can lie, but you know, it's... And then, <laughs> then, it, and then it doesn't really work, you can try. You can Absolutely. Try so, um, as it's a way to, to express ourselves, there's also, there's like a, a, an excess, you know, always in mm -hmm. sex, mm -hmm. that tells us, tells more about us, mm -hmm. or about a situation with the other person. Mm -hmm. It can reflect other things mm -hmm. that, you know, the... the pleasure or, mm -hmm. or, or sharing mm -hmm. or you know mm -hmm. uh, so that's um, that's why in, in I choose to, uh, to tell about this couple through the sexual uh, relation at that moment mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden uh, Helena's cousin appears because he um he was just released from from re a rehab, rehabilita uh, yeah, from a rehab yeah. drugs rehab center, yeah. a rehabilitation drug rehab, and he's he's sent to the countryside to basically get himself together, get himself back together. Yes, again. and and yeah, to start again, you know, like in a, in a more quiet place, um, yeah, without the, the the possibility to to like contact again all the people mm -hmm. of uh, you know. What well, happens normally with, with people that are discharged from rehab? Yeah, it does. No, it does. But he brings, of course, a total new energy into this very, you know, like uh, closed environment or to this, like, also kind of dead relationship or something or the relationship Absolutely. that's not really, that's kind of dysfunctioning. And what does he bring? What, what, how is he, dist and how far is he disturbing or bringing spice into it? Well, first of all, he. he um, he brings like his his look, you know. Mm -hmm. When um, when you're in a relationship that you know it, it, it's it's monotonous or, or there's something there's a part of you that that you lose, mm -hmm. you know. And when someone new appears and looks at you, you you feel you seduction. know seduction. Yeah, seduction exactly. or someone has a you know. Um, wants you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this mm -hmm, desire, mm -hmm, and, and you mm -hmm. can tell that, and that mm -hmm. brings a lot of energy, mm -hmm. new energy. Mm -hmm. Dangerous energy? It depends. Mm -hmm. It depends. Mm -hmm. Like everything in life can be mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. or, <laughs> or <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so wh how is that in the context of the film? What, what is this energy bringing? Um, 
it, it, it brings up I believe that it brings uh, an opportunity to the couple to reinvent themselves mm -hmm. individually. Mm -hmm. um, for her, it's um, um, it's um, yes, reinvent herself as a woman. You know, uh, feel that someone is looking at her mm -hmm. and wants her mm -hmm. uh, again. Um, that she, that, that's, you know, the fantasy that's another possible life mm -hmm. somewhere or she can be another person also. Mm -hmm. And, um, and for him, for, for, the, for the husband, um, is um, also like the way to show, yeah, to show himself, you know, like a strong man with the, And, um, how how you know, would you just, because you were in the beginning, you were saying that one of the main kind of interests in this film is to kind of a little bit, you know, explore masculinity, maleness, male body, may, you know, the male physicality kind of. So how, you know, both, like these two men, they would do these typical, you know, we're talking about rituals, like these cock the fights, cock for fights, example, yeah. you know, they would, they would attend this together. And what do you see in, in this, you know, like sending them both to this cockfight or seeing them, that, you know, there's a situation when, this, when he's swimming in the lake and yeah. the body is, there's a, a shot from the behind, I think, on his back. I mean, they, yeah. I mean you know, bodies play an important role. Yeah. So, so what, what, what do you see in these situations as a director? Um. Oh, that's maybe a big question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, uh, but maybe like what? maybe I should ask like what what attracts you about the male body? Yeah. Well, um, I I I find interesting the way of of the, um, of the erotism, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so used to be, you know, some, what's erotic in a woman uh, all the time. We're, we're all, all the time. Every day, every day, yeah, uh -huh. every day. And um, and I was trying to find that, but uh, you know, in, in, in men's body and, and in real bodies. Well, all the bodies are real, but in but common not in bodies, the stylized, you know, common bodies, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. And, and that, uh, not only with, with, with men, with, with her character, with mm -hmm. Elena, mm -hmm. I was looking for the same. Mm -hmm. You know, how, how a body can, can be erotic with a belly, with wrinkles, mm -hmm. with, with a, you know, mm -hmm. spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with all of that, because yeah. that's, that's the erotism we have every day, yeah. all the time. Yeah, around and that's us. The, that, that's, yeah, that's, those are our tools as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we come with all of that, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah um, that was like my, my main interest, especially with men, because um, I, I find it interesting. Uh, and what did you learn from that film? From the film, lots yes, of things. In, in, but also oh. in the context of male body, or what, it, what attracts you about it? Or what? Um, did you, in the work with the actors, maybe? Did you? Yeah, absolutely. Then you probably explored a lot. You know, absolutely. How, how did they respond to your kind of maybe imagination about it? What, because they were male, you know. They, of course, they were actual male. So maybe, what kind of relationship did you build with the with the actors to? Um, well, it was something that I'm very honest. We were looking for that, you mm. know, and also trying not to fall in in, in a cliche, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So um, it was very much about trust, you know. Uh, so they were acting, and um, I said, well, "Okay, you give me with the camera, and I look for it. Just, you know, get involved in in this scene. You know, try not to pose, and and, and we will get there. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and that's what happened." And did they, 
What did they say about their relationship to masculinity? And did you talk about it explicitly in the rehearsal? I don't know if you rehearsed, but you probably rehearsed, right? In the, yeah, well, uh, in the, the things that we, we rehearsal, the rehearsals were uh, before before we start mm -hmm. shooting. Mm -hmm. We rehearsal things uh, about, you know, it, it was more um, working with the memory. We didn't rehearsal mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know, the uh, scenes of the film. Mm -hmm. We so you know, things of the past, mm -hmm. their own past, their own past, mm -hmm. and the relationships, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. with um, with Luis and Maria, mm -hmm. that are the, the couple. Mm -hmm. um, we rehearse some um, things that happened to the couple five or ten years before, like trying to build a memory. So, at the time we were shooting the scene, mm -hmm. every gesture. Every movement had a, you know, some story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even with the music, if, mm -hmm. if, if they're listening to music, it's something they, they know. Mm -hmm. or, um, uh, when they are discussing, they're discussing for something that just happened, but also as in relationships yeah. in general, yeah, 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 yeah. we discuss for a subject, but you know, we are also discussing for the same things, you know, in, in, in the history of the relationship, you know, mm -hmm. we are carrying that. Mm -hmm. Always into the and, present. And, yeah, yeah and, and updating it in, in, in the discussion. So um, we work more with, with the memory. Of the, of the uh, actual, uh, like their own memories of their Their own memories, lives. yes. Okay. So um, when, when we um, arrived to the set and we were shooting like, the, the scene, there we, we tried to, um, we used the script very much like a guide, really. Okay. But open to, uh, to add or to express whatever yeah, memory to comes add, out. Yeah, to, yeah. To, to trust more in the body and less in the words. Exactly, okay, great. That was our idea. So um, that's something we worked a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, in that sense, I mean, when we were looking for, for this, uh, the, the erotism mm -hmm. <laughs> in the male body or, or, you know, um, yeah, we tried to, to take out the words and, and, and let try it, to let tell, yeah, with, with a gesture. Yeah. And, how, and how far do you think? Maybe that's a little bit of a tough question, but and how far do you think you you question also this norm of heterosexuality, if you know what I mean, in this in this film? Yes, I'm questioning it absolutely. Good, yeah. very good. <laughs> no, very important. We very very important because it's so fucked up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's so important that we in these times we have to have more questioning of this weird concept of hetero as well as homosexual is you know like these Absolutely. concepts uh, you know so yeah i'm grateful that you that you that you <laughs> say yes you know because why why how did how did you feel you did it or how do you feel you did it um well um, the 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 story is a big question about about it mm -hmm. it's uh, you know we are yeah we are questioning it uh, with the whole story and um also Oh, I just want, want, I mean, the character, the Ernesto's character, he's an homophobic mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm questioning that mm -hmm. as well, I mean. <laughs> 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 yes, you know, uh, it's How? difficult to control, you know, our feelings, our desires. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could happen mm -hmm. to everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you think that especially also this homophobic attitude is something that is uh, mm -hmm. also something very present in Argentina or the culture you... you no, the macho culture, the yes, uh, yeah, as well, in, in Latin America in mm -hmm. general, mm -hmm. yeah. It's still that, and it's still present. And how do you fight it? Uh, making a film uh, <laughs> and every day in my life with um, uh, I, I feel so I feel a stranger with you know with that kind of mentality but mm -hmm. you know even a as a woman mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. dealing with macho culture all the time mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it's not easy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how do you, what what are your strategies to um, I behave as an equal Good. I assume I'm an equal. I know it. Mm. Is the other one there? You know, 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they don't know, but it's their problem. Yeah. I behave as an equal. Mm -hmm. I assume I am because I believe that. Mm -hmm. I, assume, I believe we all are equal, equal and yeah. we all uh, should have always everywhere the same right. Mm -hmm. So. That's a beautiful <laughs> statement. You, you and it's, it also it's also right for your film in terms of your film. You know, yeah. like the, everybody. But but how? What's maybe the big? I don't know if you can say lesson or um, realization you you've had throughout this entire process of the very beginning. You know, the, the, how the film basically was developed and then to the very end until it was. You know, now it's screened at the festival. So what what were like those realizations you went through? Uh, you know, uh, what? When you're trying to make your first film, th this was, you know, a few years ago. <laughs> um, wow, I, I was sitting in, in, in the living room of my apartment, you know, imagining a story and writing and rewriting and, and sometimes feeling that it was, it was completely crazy, you know, where, where, where will I get all the money to do this and... <laughs> And uh, um, I, be I believed in it all the time, so um, it was a hard work. But um, you know, the hard part is when when you're alone in the living room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the hardest part. Um, then, if 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 someone trusts in you, that makes it easier. It's all about trust, well, you know, trust, with, yeah. with, with the actors, with the producers, with, with, with everyone. It's mm -hmm. about trust. Mm -hmm. When you start to feel less alone and um, more people are working in the project mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, and you learn a lot. It's a big process. And now, um, well, now I believe that everything will start to make sense. Now it's like the big trust of the audience, you know, to give me an hour, 40 minutes of their lives to <laughs> sit there and, you know. Endure. <laughs> Absolutely. Endure. Wow, yeah, but that's yeah. also the trust. Yeah, yeah. So. so what's going to happen after, after this is all over? Are you already working on something new or are you yes, going to let yes. it digest first? You are, okay. Yes, I, I'm the very beginning. Okay, but, so you, but, <laughs> you can't, yeah. can't lose a word, okay. <laughs> But it's going to be in Argentina again? Or you yeah, yeah, and I guess that in the border of Santa. Um, I'm, I'm still, you know, thinking more about it. But, um, yeah, I have a long work to do. <laughs> a big work. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I think um, this is my first film. And, um, and, 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 when and I mean, really, congratulations again, because it's, it's just amazing to bring such a strong first film to this festival. Thank and you. I'm, I'm so happy. Yes, you should, be. You, you should be proud of yourself and very happy. And I, I wish you all the best for the screenings here and that you will get into a lot of contact with people, that the audience will respond and uh, that you will survive. I, I know it's hard for a director. I don't think it's a... I'm it's not so easy. I'm so nervous. Yeah. I'm yes, so to, nervous. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's not, it's because not, I, I don't know how, how the people in general will, will take it. Yes. And but you will, um, you will attend all screenings? Uh, all of them. Yes. All of them, yes. And I will stay for the Q&A, yeah, yeah. yes. I'm, I'm brave. really interested. Very brave. Very brave, yeah. You know, I make films... Well, I, I did this film and I want to keep on making films, I believe. <laughs> um, not because I want to sit in a, in a chair that says, you know, director. <laughs> Play the boss. No, Play the boss, no, it. no. Um, uh, I don't know if it's something in general, but at least for me, um, I have a big need to share, you know? Yes, great. That's and so, uh, I mean, all the process will end up making sense when I have you know, an audience, people I don't know, that, uh, yeah, that will see this film and, and will have common questions as long as they don't throw, you know, tomatoes <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> no, this will not happen yet, I'm pretty sure. Thank you so <laughs> much for, for bringing this film to the Berlinale and, and good luck for the next uh, week or two weeks here in, in the city. Uh, thank you, Barbara. Thank you very thank much you. to you. <laughs>